Welcome to Flash Tutorial Request 11. Select Random Movie Clip 2. It's a follow-up to Flash Tutorial Request 10, which was Select Random Movie Clip. And that's the FLA I have on my computer. And I just want to look at the action script here and show you basically what we're going to do. We're going to keep this top section where we're selecting the random number but what we're going to do is remove all this bottom section here. The way it's made now, uh, a random number gets selected and for each movie clip we have, we have to have one of these if statements. So if there were 50 movie clips, we'd have to have 50 different if statements. That's the negative of having this format, but the, the positive of this format is the movie clips can have any any name because each section has the individual name of that movie clip. With this tutorial, the positive is we only have to write one small section of code and you can have as many movie clips as you wish. The negative to doing it this, this new way is the movie clip names have to be in numerical sequence. So let's start by clicking right here where it says stage and click there and come down and delete all that just delete it so all we have left is this little section here where we're getting a random number and we're tracing the random number and to make sure we delete it the right amount I'm gonna just test it make sure I have no errors and when I click I get random numbers so I'm happy with that let's go back to the main timeline and we have to here's the negative part we have to rename all these movie clips so let's start with the rectangle movie clip unlock the rectangles layer select frame one highlight it open the properties panel and here we're going to call it item I T E M one underscore M C unlock the star layer select the star I T E M two underscore M C I'm gonna copy this save me some some work item two lock this layer the next layer is the oval paste it in and make this three this is what I mean by numerical sequence we have to do that way with this format doing the circle paste and I believe I'm up to four now and the last one is my square and paste I'm up to five so they're all in numerical order I'm gonna lock all the layers close this properties panel open the actions panel and we got a little bit of code so right here after the get movie clip which runs this function type in this code type 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 it's a very small code we're going to create a variable VAR and I'm calling it holder. I'm just saying it's going to place it's going to be a place where I'm going to put something and treat it as if it were sort of like a, a movie clip or something like that. So VAR turns purple, H O L D E R capital H colon. It's an object, O B J E C T that will turn blue if you spell it right. Equals new N E W turns purple space object O B J E C capital O turns blue so we're just making set what's called a new object it's just treated like a movie clip sort of thing open close bracket semicolon and here we're saying that holder word that variable we just made this is what it's going to be equal to and we're going to turn it into a what looks like an instance name so open bracket there's a quotation mark I-T-E-M capital I 
close quotation. That's the first four words of the, or first four letters of all the movie clips. Item. Plus string, capital S-T-R-I-N-G. This turns blue. This is green. Open bracket. And here's that select, capital M-C, capital S. That's that variable up here that we're choosing the numbers from 1 to 5. Close bracket. Plus sign again. Quotation. Underscore MC. Quotation. Close bracket. Semicolon. So this word holder, this variable, is going to contain, if you, if you could look at it, if we traced it. And let's do that. Let's put in here a trace trace bracket holder h o l d e r close bracket semicolon when we see this trace it's going to say item with a number from 1 to 5 underscore mc so it's randomly going to select a movie clip and the final line says this meaning whichever number we're selecting now this and this is the open large bracket. And it's the lowercase of the curly bracket. Holder, H-O-L-D-E-R, capital H. Close square bracket, which is the lowercase of the closed curly bracket. Period. Go to and play. Small g, small t, capital A, capital P. That turns blue. Open bracket. Two, close bracket, semicolon. And this one here is already here from the original, this one, this button function. So when we try it, we're going to, let's go up here for a minute. And let's comment out this one here. I don't want to see too many traces. So it's forward slash, forward slash. I don't want to see that. So when we press the button, we're going to create a number. It's going to trace for us an instance name. And that's the object that should move. I have no errors. There's the instant name was number one, two, three, four, two. If I just keep clicking them, they're randomly moving. Okay. Pretty simple. I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn.